It's really what they're trying to do is alleviate any cross-border concern, if you will, here. Hearing again that this was a chemical processing plant there in Canada, which was on fire. And if you do look at the map, you can see that Lewiston and some of the other communities here in Niagara County are really only about eight miles away to the east. Uh, across the lake and the river. Now, again, that fire in St. Catharines, Ontario, actually began about 6.30 this morning in the Sonix plant, which handles and processes hazardous waste like paints, aerosols, various other items like rags laced with chemicals. One person, as you pointed out, apparently a worker injured with serious burns and now at the hospital. The St. Catharines fire chief says about 54 people from nearby homes evacuated with concerns about explosions chemical exposure. Other residents in that Canadian community told to keep their windows closed and shelter inside. The fire chief says they feel they have it under control. Now, what does this mean for Niagara County and communities again like Lewiston? Well, officials here in Niagara County keeping watch. We actually looked into where the location was of the fire, looked at what uh, the potential chemicals on site and the locations, and then doing some of our own plume modeling to see where the wind directions were coming from and then where that uh, smoke from the fire was heading. Unfortunately for today and continuing through the day, all that smoke's been heading north with a, a southerly wind. Now Schultz says, again, no worries on this side of the border. They did get a handful of 911 calls, as we've been pointing out from people who heard some of the loud explosions this morning, but that's really the only impact here in Niagara County. They'll keep monitoring just to make sure. Reporting from the Niagara County Emergency Operations Center in Lockport, I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.